Hey guys, welcome to Tarn Hill. Welcome to the place where we turn Hill over to self love and unity consciousness. I hope all is well. Um, welcome to the energy of the week reading. All right, let's get started. I come to you humbly, God, thanking you for your divine guidance, providing messages of divine light, divine love, in accordance with your divine will. What is it that we need to know for the week? Thank you so much. So the moon, the full moon energy is coming up. Full moon in Pisces. About to get all the water, all the psychic energy coming towards us. So we might start feeling that influence a little bit. All right. Um, what else? Anything? Okay, what's going on? Take a risk and manifest. Okay. Take a risk and manifest coming out here. What is this? The revolutionary. And do it with passion. Do it with the fire. Do it with balls, okay? <laughs> with the cojones. <laughs> do it with, uh, yeah, I mean, do it with the courage. Whatever it is that you want to go for. All right, let's go. Oh, I'm debuting a new deck. Um, it is the Naked Heart Tarot. How beautiful, look at that. Jillian C. Wald. Got it off of Amazon if you're interested, okay? All right. What's going on? What's energy? What do we need to know for the week? Mm. Clear direction. All right. Um, the way this came out, <laughs> this uh, Spirit of Swords, which is the Queen of Swords here. I just want to light this up real quick. So we have the Queen of Swords coming out. How amazing is that card? It's so beautiful, ain't it? Anyway, Queen of Swords. This is that clarity. It spun out. It spun out like while it was while I was shuffling, right? There's something about having a clear direction. Uh, you, we might be going for different things. It feels like we're spinning, spinning, and it's just like just land on one. Um, we might have been in a whirlwind of desires of many things that we want to do at once, or many people that we want to do at once. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever the case is, all right? Um, but it does feel like a whirlwind of desire and there's a need to get that laser pinpoint focus, all right? Yeah, wow, we have the Ace of Wands coming out here. Out of, out of many desires, there is one clear one, okay? That's what's happening here. There's many things that you wanna do or many like I said, many people you might want to do, whatever the case is, okay? If you're in this player mentality. All right. And if that's the case, out of many, there's one. Okay. Out of many, there's one that really is it, okay? With the Ace of Wands. So someone might feel like because there's so many things, so many desires coming their way, or so many interests that they may have, they might feel like they're confused, but it's really not confusing at all. There's a very clear one, okay? Even if it's just two paths, there's a very clear path that is like, yeah, obviously, that's the one I really want, you know? Uh, so we do have the Nine of Pentacles here. It does require some it, it requires some balls okay it requires it requires excuse my french i'm sorry okay but it does require some big cojones to go for it all right it's like getting that daring energy that fire energy get fired up for it all right Some people might have been distracting themselves with other desires, okay? Because it's like that one I really want, but I don't want to deal with, you know, I don't want to deal with wanting it and not getting it. So I'd rather just go for desires that I have one, you know? You feel me? All right. What else? Yeah, so, so someone's not putting in work into the things that they actually want. Wow. 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 Holy cow. 
okay? So we have the Eight of Pentacles coming out up um, in reverse. Coming out in reverse, but it's up uh, in the self-conscious. This is how they're showing up. This could be you or someone else, okay? So keep that in mind. But someone is not making the moves that they need to make, right? They're not putting in work into something that they really want. Now look what we have in the subconscious, the Two of Cups. All right, this is something that gives them, uh, it makes them feel like they're in major alignment. It's like I said, it's many desires, many cups out here, but there's only one Two of Cups, okay? And someone needs to be bold enough to uh, go for it, is what I feel, all right? Now we have the star card. It's like something shined more than the others, okay? One one path lit up, okay, um, in the past, it seems, in the recent past. But nobody, but somebody, somebody didn't go for it. Now it's just like wishing on a star energy here. We have the page of pentacles coming out. The innocence of pentacles is what it is. And look at the, the eye there, you know, look how beautiful. Anyway, they have this very doe eyed energy towards this path that's lit up. Like, I wish I can go for that, but can I go for that? Yeah, you can go for that. You just can't be this little uh, doe eyed little lamb. You gotta turn into a mother effing tiger, okay? Go and get it, girl, all right? <laughs> so the inner um, energy is the sage. You're gonna have to use this high, uh, higher perspective to fire you up, okay? Use the power of spirit to fire you up because it does seem like whatever this path is with the ace of wands it is a path that's blessed and then the knowingness that it is blessed by spirit should be able to fire you up if you ever fit, find doubt feel, uh, feel any doubt about the connection about the path about whatever it is as far whatever it is that you that you really want remember this is a blessed path it came to me okay this is a path that's actually lighting up for me this is what it means when something lights you up and i'm feeling that that means that's the path that means i'm getting a green light from spirit oh shit, that's a green light that means i need to go okay that's the energy here just get that clarity and just face that all right so we have the two of wands coming out in a verse here. We have the seven of wands coming out in a verse. Why is that happening? Oh, the lack of confidence. Okay. Skyfather. I got to show you this card. So this is the emperor in this deck. What is called Skyfather. The sky god. All right. Uh, that's coming out in a verse. Um, so someone, yeah, someone just doesn't feel ready for it. We have the seven of wands in a verse. It's like a lack of confidence. Feeling insecure about going for the thing. Like I mentioned, it's this energy of like, well, I don't want to go for the thing that I really want because it's really going to hurt me if I don't get it. So I'm going to just go for things that, that I half ass want. And it's fine. I don't see, um, they, they can't really see an outlet or an in, rather. They can't see an in. Like, okay, if I, I really want this thing, how do I get in? How do I get in the door? How do I pry this open? How do I how do I start this? Okay. So the page of pentacles is there. It's like somebody's gonna take somebody's being let's take a baby step. I feel like someone will. Okay, but right now it's just it just has this energy of like it has this energy of like let's say a a, a kid looking at Superman and they're like I'm going to be that one day, right? It's that type of energy, that longing and looking at this dream, at this possibility, at this path. Like, I wish I can have that, you know? That's the energy here with this doe-eyed, okay? There's no get rid of that kid doe-eyed energy and step into emperor mode. Sky poppy, all right? You sky poppy out here. Just go and get it. <laughs> all right, let's see the block it is. Um, but yeah, we do have the double card coming out. Somebody's going to realize like, oh, okay, maybe I was just uh, talk myself out of it and being, um, you know, just putting myself in a low life space, you know, when it comes to this path. The insecurity is coming out as devil energy, okay? Somebody could be talking down on themselves like, hey, I'm not good enough, hey, this and that. That's devil energy for themselves, you know what I'm saying? They being a devil to themselves. All right, let's do blockage.
Seven of Cups coming out in the and the Four of Cups. All right. This is that energy. Out of many, there's one. Like I said, there's a lot of cups around. Somebody's... This could be you, someone else. It could be everybody. All right? But this is the message for the week. Somebody has a lot of cups around or multiple, whatever. Um, but they realize, like, if they lose this one cup, if they lose this one cup, they're not going to be happy about that. Like, they won't be happy about any of the cups lost, possibly. But it's, it's one specific cup where they're like, okay, wait, that one I can't lose. Like, I really want that. Um, but it seems like entertaining all these cups, all these desires, is, is stopping them from really realizing that. Okay. Come on now, cards. Yeah, y'all out here with the... These, the way these cards are coming out, they're coming out with conviction. And I think that's what needs to happen, all right? Um, there needs to be more conviction about your desires, about our... We need to have more conviction about our desires. Uh, stop half-assing. We're going for things that we half-ass... That we half-ass want. Or half-ass asking for things. Being in and out about certain desires, asking the universe and then pulling back. Whatever the case is, it's time to boldly ask and then go and get it. All right. Um, fire yourself up. Talk yourself. Talk yourself up. Okay. There's a need for that. I feel like someone's confusing themselves with the multiple desires. All right. They're like adding more desires to confuse the situation just so they don't have to focus on the fact that there's one desire that they actually have. If somebody has multiple business ideas and it's really one that they really, really want to do, but then they're like, oh, but I also want to do this and I also want to do that and that and that. So I don't know what I want to do for real. Oh, did I spit? <laughs> I did. Oh my God. Um, but yeah, it's like, I don't know which one I want to do for real. And it's like, yeah, you actually do know. And you're just adding more distractions. That's it. Distractions. All right. What are they feeling to say? What are they feeling to say? The way these cards are popping out, I wish you could see. They're just coming out like. And that's what we're being led. That's how we're being led to move. Okay, with the revolutionary. Um, we have the Eight of Wands. That's that energy. Like, like, as soon as you accept the desire, the universe can suck you into it. Okay? Uh, that's what I'm feeling. That's what someone's feeling to see. Uh, but someone's carrying all this. Oof, oof, look at this energy here. I'm going to put it up right so you can actually appreciate the cards real quick. The Nine of Swords, this is an intense Nine of Swords, ain't it? Oh my gosh. But the Nine of Swords is about, um, you know, overthinking, being in your head. Ten of Swords, that's, you know, that, that painful cycle that's coming to a close. What someone's failing to see is that once they stop overthinking and the reason, and they realize the source of their overthinking is the pain and the devil energy that they're bringing to their own mind, They'll be surprised how quickly things happen. Now, someone doesn't, they don't know what's an in, right? How do I get in the door? They're going to be surprised that the way in the door is by letting go, right? Once they let go, the universe is like, oh, I got it now. You know, they're just waiting for us to be in the right mentality so that they can shoot us into the right frequency to get what we want, get on the path, all right? What's that like? Why am I leaking from every freaking orifice right now? What the hell is happening here? Godly. Sorry, that was TMI. All right, <laughs> the lowest card coming out in reverse. Uh, yeah, I feel like, yeah, this is just something that's gonna bring major alignment. Someone knows this path brings alignment. I know this. These other paths are distracting. I know that, okay? That's, that's pretty much what's happening, okay? It's going to be major clarity about it. Like, all right, let me just drop these distractions. Let me go and get the thing that I actually want because I actually do want it and I don't want to lose it. Um, and that's it. Right. So this week we're being led to take that bold action, ask for that date, 
get that number, you know, whatever it is. Start that business idea, but uh, pretty much it's um, just do it. Don't think about it. Just do it. Fuck it. <laughs> How many lives do we have? We don't know because we don't remember our past lives, right? Unless you're on that level and you know what I'm saying? Whatever. But it's like, come on. Do it now. Who cares? What's the worst that can happen? You get rejected? So what? Move on. But either way, it does seem like this path is something that is actually aligned with you, meaning that it is a contract, a soul contract. So something that you're meant to go for. So I want to say don't worry about the rejection aspect of it. You're probably not going to get, you're not, I don't think that's a concern or it should, I don't think it should be concerned. All right. So we have the lover's card coming out with the hermit card and the four of wands in reverse. How's that four of wands in reverse? Oh, okay. So the lover's busting out of the shell with the hermit card. Okay. What the hell? I'm just... So we have the strength card coming out in a verse along with this four of wands. There's a need to build up that strength to get this. Because if you don't, five of cups, there's going to be some regrets, okay? This week, take a risk. This week, let's just all say F it. Go for the thing, all right? On the count of three. One, two, three. F it. Yeah? All right, cool. All right. Well, let's see. Um, anything else? I want to pull from this. I want to pull from the animal spirit deck, but I can't find it. Do all things in moderation. Oh, yeah. So that's the thing. So, and it's not saying effort, like go from zero to 100, right? It's like taking a baby step, as I mentioned earlier. Take the baby step. Like, ask for the number, ask for the date, whatever. It's like a baby, a small step. It doesn't mean, like, you have to do some grand thing. Just a small step. F it. Take the small step, okay? But do it with the passion of, like, a grand, you know? You're going to have to rile yourself up just to take a baby step. That's what it feels like. <laughs> All right? Count your blessings, baby. Like, yeah, I can do this. No, I'm a shit. I can do this. But yeah, they'll love me. They'll love to go on a date with me. Yeah, why wouldn't they? You're going you gonna to have to talk yourself up. Find some attitude of gratitude energy up in that. Okay, before it's going to help you fire yourself up, okay? Uh, we have be true to yourself. And we have live life to the fullest. See? Fuck it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Live life to the fullest. We only got one life that we remember, right? All right. All right. That's it. So, the energy of this week is effort. Take the baby step. Go for that business idea. Go get that number. Whatever it is that you're trying to do, shoot your shot. And however you're trying to shoot your shot. All right? All right. All right. Until we meet again, thank you so much. Let me know what you think. Feel free to like, subscribe, share, comment, add me on IG. Taryn Hill, if you want a personal reading, check out the info box below. If you want to be an angel donor, check out the angel link, the, the Patreon link below. It's getting late. I'm breaking down now. I'm breaking down. All right. Thank you so much. And until we meet again, peace.